Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you a couple new positions that you'll be able to do a lot of interesting work from. Uh, they are some of the foundational exercises, motions, drills, whatever you want to call it, that are used both. You see them used quite a bit in yoga, we see them used quite a bit in calisthenics, uh, we see them used in a lot of different areas. And rather than looking at it and who uses it, let's just look at, at what the motion is and what you can do with it. So rather than grouping things in a way that might separate it from you, let's, let's decluster it in a way that you can use it. So the first position is going to be the headstand. Um, the headstand is an inversion, meaning your head is below your heart or your heart is above your head, however you want to look at it. Um, these positions can be very, very good to train the legs, hips, and abdominals in in a very dynamic way while building more uh, holding strength at the bottom. So this will prepare you for better things like handstands, cartwheels, uh, if you want to learn to walk on your hands, it will make your fingers, your wrist, elbow, shoulders, your spine, your neck much, much stronger. Uh, they're great positions to stretch the hips in, um, particularly if you hurt your back. You can do these motions where you are doing squatting and lunging motions, being that you're upside down, your legs are much, much lighter. And, and that may sound like kind of ridiculous, but you must understand, it's the motion that our body seems to prefer, not the load. So how we move the body is more important than how we load the body. Please keep that lesson in mind as you begin learning these skills. In the beginning, you may only be able to move in some directions. Rather than looking at what you can't do, I want you to work on what you can do. So let's look at it. So the first thing is we're gonna work off of the wall. Um, and when you work off the wall, it is, it's, it's, it's there for you to make the errors. So what I don't want you to do is, is get to the wall and be afraid to take advantage of the wall. It's okay. The, the only thing I want you to think about before you start is it should be clear of obstructions and then pets and small children Please keep them away. Uh, you don't want to roll over and, and injure your dog or your cat or your child or, or whatever else and break something, right? Okay, so for headstand positioning 101, the first thing is, is I want you to think about a triangle shape, not a line. What, what I mean is what we want the head and hands making a triangle rather than the head and hands making a line. Now, when you get, when you get good, um, and your skill comes up and you learn your balancing points, you'll be able to easily balance in a line. But in the beginning, the tripod is much, much easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off fairly close to the wall, and I'm going to bring my head and hands to the wall. Now, what part of the head do we bring to the wall, to the floor? Uh, it's your five head, right? So here's your forehead. It's your five head. It's the top of the head. It's not here. And it's, it's really not going to be back here at first. It's going to be this position. So that slight extension of the neck, which allows you that if you go eyes up, you'll be looking at the floor. Eyes forward is putting you out. So what would that look like? The starting position is I'm going to make a triangle. So here's my hands. Here's my head. Step one is feet come up. Bend one knee. Set the other knee here. Now you're in the headstand. Ooh, that was hard. Right? That's all it is. That's step one. You may see photos and videos of people doing headstands with their legs extended in a certain way. You must understand that's all down the road. The very first step is being able to do this. Hands, head, elbow, elbow. That's step one. Now, once you can do that, step two, when you can hold that position, is going to be bringing the knees off of the elbows. And let me grab a little sissy pad here for my head. So, what we're talking about is this position. First, I make my tripod. Up and up. Off. This is position number two. From here, you can start to move your feet around. 
It helps to keep them closer together. Now at the beginning, your objective is to be in that position. Any degree of that position is good to go. It doesn't have to be uh, any particular alignment and for it to count. So your first drill is going to be getting into that position and then just seeing what you can move around. I would like you to transition rather than hold. What does this mean? Let's say you're first working on your tripod. Here would be a way we could work on that. So the first thing is, is I don't have to start from here. If I wanted to make it a bit more dynamic practice, I could do something where I start, squat down, hands to the floor, head to the floor, feet wide, up, here. That's one rep. That's two reps. And what are we doing? We're not doing anything complicated. We're adding in some different motions. It could go in many different ways. So this foundational motion, very, very useful. After learning the uh, headstand is going to be how to balance on just your hands. Uh, this is called a lot of different things. Uh, crow hold, frog hold, doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. Uh, let's talk about addressing the lower arms before you start balancing on the hands. So there's a really big difference between the amount of pressure you're probably used to from holding dumbbells and barbells and kettlebells and holding your body flat on the ground. Um, you know, even if you do a lot of push-ups, it's just not really the same because you're shifting from holding 60, 70 percent of your weight to, to really close, you know, 90 percent, 95 percent of your weight. A lot of your weight is being held in that position. It helps to move all those joints around before we begin. Now what I'm about to show you is not the right way. It's a way to do it. There are many other ways. So let's go through a couple of the preparatory motions. The first thing is, is for a lot of people we're going to be working at the fingers and the wrist. So I have them do this type of extension work. And we just move the fingers, wave them out. We start adding in more extension, adding in pronation and supination at the forearm, deviation, flexion, extension at the wrist, these different directions. Now, now depending on how much of this you've done, the floor may be too much. You may be better to do it on a carpet or on a folded towel, any of those things. But, but you're not going to get there faster by doing it in a way that hurts you more. Just all right, so if it hurts you to do it on the floor, do it in a way that doesn't hurt you. You'll get, you'll get ahead faster. So motion, what we're going to use is going to be rotation at the shoulder and at the elbow joint. So you see I'm rotating through all those areas. And I'm going to wave some pressure across my fingers. Turn it again. Rotation. Supinate. Ooh, you see how tough that is for me? Rotation. Now I like to go to the back of the hand. In the beginning, the only thing you may do, you may just do this, all right? If, it's, if it hurts to lean, don't do it. Don't put pressure. Um, in the beginning, you may just do this type of thing. But eventually you're gonna get to the point where you can do basically that same type of motions. This one's a lot tougher for me. My body feels stupid in this position at times. And same thing, I'm gonna roll them around. So this starts to get the wrist prepared. So try this out. So when we're going to balance, a couple of things. Number one, all the pressure can't just be here, and all the pressure definitely can't just be here. You're gonna to learn to spread pressure, and you're going to learn to steer yourself using your hands. The first motion is going to be rocking in and out of the pose. So once again, we're not trying to hold it. We're coming into balance and we're coming back out. The setup, squat with your elbow right at your shins, 
All right, you'll see other positions used. It's not that they're wrong, it's that I think this will be very easy for you. Fingers point forward, the pit of your elbow points forward, meaning this is really hard. You see how the pit of my elbows point in at each other and my elbows point out? Hard. Elbows point back, elbow pits forward, easy. From here, I'm going to tilt, uh, excuse me, tilt forward where one foot's off the ground, lift, tilt back. Tilt where one foot's off the ground, lift, tilt back. When that gets comfortable, you're just going to rock into position. When that gets comfortable, you'll be able to hold in that position. Now, how do you use that? I like to do the exact same thing I showed you in the previous video. Stand, squat, tip, stand up. Just like that, so simple. Now what will happen over time? You'll be able to start to hold that position easily. You'll find you're able to come into position and balance quickly. From there, we're gonna to start to move the lower body around. And we'll talk about that more um, future video on your call. But in the beginning, these two positions are the ones I would like you to learn next.